Hello everyone, I'm Chef Sumit Samadhar and in today's theory class we are going to study about reshuffle cooking. Okay, so the topic for today is reshuffle cooking. So reshuffle uh, basically is a French word when, which uh, literally means cooking of the leftovers or uh, technically it means reheating of the leftover food. So I'll explain what is reshuffle cooking because it plays a very important role in the hotel industry. When you are working in hotel, you must have seen that your you will be see definitely uh, when you join the hotel, you'll be seeing that if there is a large banquet function and say, for example, there are 500 guests who are supposed to come. And then the, then what happens because of some incidents, there is a uh, less footfall. So say 350 guests came. So the food which has already been cooked for 150 portions is the leftover so it is uh, very highly uneconomical to throw that food so instead of that what is being done is a new dish is being created out of that and uh, from the leftovers and it is being sold or it is being served to the custom customers the next day so that is all about ratio of cooking we are going to in this topic we are uh, the objectives of the learning is we are going to learn how, what is rich of cooking all about? What are the uh, precautionary measures which has to be taken? What are the um, reasons or purpose for prepare, uh, or doing rich of food? So as I already explained, rich of cooking means cooking of the leftovers. That means if there is a food which is being cooked in surplus and then you have a leftover out of that, then you uh, cook it and create a new dish out of it. So uh, what are we are going to talk about what are the precautions or points to remember while you are making a rich of dish. Okay, the first point is we have to remember about segregation. The second point. storing third point processing fourth point handling and the last point is cooking so I will explain you all the all the uh, points say for example there is a uh, the, the, uh, there is a is a is a banquet function which is going on and there is you have uh, cooked say small tandoori chicken so which we which are uh, which are supposed to uh, go as starters in the dish but then there is a leftover of it okay so now when you are uh, serving the tandoori chicken along with that you would have served a mint chutney along with with that you would have been serving a lacha onion or, or anything of that sort so if there if after the end of the function you see that you are still uh, left with some uh, leftovers of the tandoori chicken the first point is about the segregation so that means it's not that anything and everything what is lying over there in the buffet counter or what is lying over there in the in the in the back kitchen you can use it first and foremost rule is whatever is there in the buffet counter should not be used as, as a leftover it should be straight away thrown away why because there is a ch high chance of cross contamination because in a buffet many people will come and they will take the food so it's not advisable at all to use it for rich of cooking whatever is left over in the kitchen that you have to do the segregation of it that means you have to see what you can use out of that and what you can what you cannot use and that has to be separated out it's not that that everything what is there you need to take it out the next part is storing so once you have se segregated the uh, item now the uh, most important thing is about storing now for storing purpose the the, the food or the ingredient which you are uh, going to use for each of cooking has to be brought down into immediately into room temperature and from room temperature within 30 minutes it has to be brought into minus 4 degrees centigrade now for this purpose in larger hotels and cruise liners you will see a heavy equipment which is called a blast chiller now a blast chiller is an equipment uh, which is like a double door or a four door fridge where the where food hot food is being uh, put inside and in very very short period of time the temperature is brought down below 5 degrees centigrade 
why we are uh, stressing on this 5 degree centigrade because we already know that 5 to 63 degree centigrade is called the danger zone where uh, there is a growth of bacteria so if you if you uh, cool down your food faster and you bring it down to 5 de below 5 degree centigrade that means you are controlling the growth of the bacteria into it which can be reused at this point of time it has to be kept in mind that say for example if you are cooking uh, if you are trying to store beef or any other meat which has bones into that the bones needs to be removed okay and only the meat has to be kept the bones should not be stored into the blast chiller for making any reshoved dish the next one is about processing so when we are talking about processing that means that you need to understand that how you are going to deal with the leftover food or how you are going to deal with the reshot food that means you need to keep in mind that if i am having a, a, a leftover a leftover of risotto what am i going to do so a good example of that is to make a starter which comes out of risotto which is called arancini so that has to be planned way in advance and that and for that processing has to be done the next part is handling the handling means the uh, the people or the or the chefs or the cooks who are supposed to make a, make the uh, dish of uh, dish that is uh, any dish which is out of the leftover uh, extra precaution has to be taken that they wear gloves proper sanitation is being is being done and it has to be always kept in mind that there is no mixture of fresh freshly cooked food and leftover food together that will create the growth of bacteria and the food is going to deteriorate next part is cooking this is one of the most vital part before it goes into the uh, uh, ready dish which goes into the customer's table cooking means whenever you are making anything out of uh, of a dish of dish it is mandatory that it has to be heated only once not more than once it has to be heated only once so i will take the example which i gave previously for example we have a leftover of risotto out of that we are preparing arancini which is basically risotto balls which are being crumbed and it is deep fried so the deep frying has to be done once and then immediately it needs to go to the guest table so these are the points to remember when we are doing any kind of uh, dish of food the next thing what we are going to uh, discuss about uh, if our dish can be used so i will uh, give some example so that it is easy uh, it's not necessary that it has to be from a from a cooked dish it can be from uncooked also or if it is from the cooked as i mentioned already in the point of storing if you remember that if you are storing some meat which has bones into it preferably the specifically if it's a red meat preferably the the bone has to be removed now the bone has to be removed but that bone can be used in additional flavoring ingredient when uh, in the stock so it can be added directly into this into the stock pot for example in the gamanji when we are working in the gamanji there's lot of cheese which is being used and when you are uh, serving the a cheese board you have to cut it all in a uniform size and equal size but uh, because of that there is a lot of trimming which comes out of it so that cheese can be used in in, in two or three purposes so one example of that is uh, you can use it as a stuffing in the breakfast for preparation of omelets the other thing is that you can melt all the cheeses together and serve it as a fondue so fondue is a melted cheese dip which is being served along with different kinds of european dishes at the uh, same time if there is a um, uh, say uh, for example if there is a is a trimming uh, from any kind of vegetables or any kind of fish preparations or anything like that that we uh, that can be take, separated af, uh, as a leftover stored properly and with that a binding can be added for example mashed potatoes can be added into uh, into that or panada can be added into it and that can be made into croquettes which can be served as starters so that is an example of a uh, of a uh, leftover dish uh, in in this scenario i would like to tell give you an example and very interesting example now i've been talking mostly about the european dishes i'll give you an ex interesting example of one uh, dish of dish which is very popular in india and not only in india it is popular all over the world the name of the dish is butter chicken or uh, or chicken tikka masala so specifically this is a story about butter chicken uh, or butter uh, or uh, mud makhani how it came into being so there is a restaurant in in delhi which is called moti mahal uh, moti mahal so in that uh, that restaurant uh, is very famous for preparation of different kinds of kebabs and tandoori chickens and so on and so forth 
so uh, one uh, day what happened the cook over there prepared a, a, a large amount of tandoori chicken the next day morning and everything was not sold obviously the next day morning the owner came and saw that there is a left uh, good leftover of, about of tandoori chicken so he uh, told his cook that i don't want to throw it please uh, find out a way so that we can resell it so that time his cook came up with an idea that putting those uh, tandoori chicken into a gravy and selling it to the guest so he came up with this uh, gravy which is which is going to be sweet and little bit tangy and he finished it with kasuri methi cream cashew nut which gave birth which is a concept which gave birth to this uh, makhani gravy and once this uh, chicken were being added into it they were being sold as murg makhani or in english as we call is at butter chicken which became very which became very popular not only in india and as i said it's popular all over the world wherever you walk in if you have uh, ever eaten a uh, murg makhani you would have always seen that the chicken pieces which are added into that these are basically uh, the chickens are always always being cooked in a tandoor it is it is mandatory that in a murg makhani the chicken has to be a uh, has to be cooked in tandoor so the story is like this so like that leftover uh, is very normal in hotel industry but as a as a good chef we all need to remember that we should make sure that as much as less leftover is possible it's no we don't uh, need to make sure that uh, there has to be a rich of dish that's not the intention but the intention uh, is to make uh, a proper uh, forecasting of it a proper forecasting of the menu proper indenting and proper cooking of it so that there are less leftovers but if there is a leftover then this kind of uh things come in, come into our, our uh, help and we re, we can uh, create or recreate a new dish with maintaining the hazard policies maintaining uh, the sanitation and hygiene policies which i have already mentioned and serve it to the guest because how, how it helps it helps in reducing the wastage it helps in maintaining the food cost because if you are throwing a ingredient into the into the drain it's not going to fetch you anything but if you are creating a dish out of it and you are selling it that means it's earning revenue for it so that's why dish of cooking plays a very important role in the hotel and hospitality industry and with the saying that i would like to uh, conclude my topic i hope all of you have understood and along with uh, this video presentation there is also a presentation about uh, uh, regarding the same chapter in a more tabulated form which is being attached along here with it so please go through it where i have also again explained each and every points which has been mentioned over there thank you